Hello, I'm Jahara Singaporeensis, a Singapore freshwater crab. But you can just call me Joe. And I want to tell you about some magical forests called mangroves. In this video, I'm going to tell you why mangroves are so important. My friend, Max the mangrove tree, lives in a mangrove forest in Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve. But Max isn't just my friend. Max and all the other mangroves are everyone's friends in so many ways. As mangroves mainly grow along tropical coasts, they are nature's friends, acting as barriers against waves, tidal surges, storms, typhoons, and even tsunamis. Mangroves act as natural buffers and reduce the force of ocean waves passing through them. That's very important for us in Singapore, where about 30% of our island is less than five meters above sea level. What's more, mangroves also have strong and dense root networks, which absorb nutrients and trap soil and sediment and stop them from washing away downstream to the sea. This, in turn, helps protect coral reefs and seagrass meadows from being smothered by sediment. And this also means better water quality for marine life to flourish. Mangroves are nature's nurseries, sheltering and protecting hatchlings and young marine life from predators and strong currents. They're also a great source of plant-based medicines, building materials, and fuel from firewood and charcoal. Every time you have a barbecue, it's very likely that the charcoal came from mangrove wood. And speaking of cooking, around 3 billion people on the planet depend on seafood as a primary source of protein in their diet. As mangroves are such great nurseries for marine life, millions of fishermen around the world rely on mangroves for their livelihoods. In fact, some of Singapore's favorite seafood starts life in mangroves, such as snapper, trevally, and the giant grouper, which swims in the safety of the mangroves for as long as six years before heading out to sea. The muddy waters of the mangroves are also home to my distant cousin, the mud crab, better known as chili crab. And for a delicious dessert, how many Singaporeans can resist a bowl of ice kacang topped with atapji? These seeds come from the nipa palm, which is one of the few palms on the planet that thrive in mangroves. Most importantly, mangroves are friends of all life on Earth because they play a vital role in combating climate change. As many of you know, too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is a main cause of global warming, climate change, and an increase in natural disasters. Mangroves are a natural way to reduce the impact of excessive carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases because they absorb and store what scientists call blue carbon. Blue carbon is simply the term for all the carbon captured by the world's sea grasses, salt marshes, and especially mangroves, which can hold more carbon than terrestrial forests. Max and the world's mangroves currently store a massive 21 billion tons of blue carbon. To give you an idea of how massive that is, the biggest animal on Earth is the blue whale which weighs nearly 146 tons. Sadly, humans haven't been such good friends to Max and the mangroves. In the past 25 years, 20% 20 of the world's mangroves have vanished. Their disappearance is due directly to human activities such as development, deforestation and aquaculture, and due indirectly to the impacts of climate change. Every time a mangrove disappears, there's less blue carbon stored, more carbon released into the atmosphere, more global warming, more climate change, and more natural disasters. 
destroying coastlines that would have been protected by mangroves. Happily, Max and the mangroves have found new friends who value and appreciate everything they do. Conservation International has been working with coastal communities and governments to maximize mangroves all over the world. For example, after Typhoon Haiyan devastated the Philippines in 2013, killing thousands of people, destroying more than a million homes and disrupting the livelihoods of millions. In response, Conservation International started working hard to help restore coastal ecosystems, especially mangroves, to better protect those coastal communities. Unfortunately, mangroves can take a long time to grow. And as no one can know exactly when another typhoon is going to happen, leaving coastlines unprotected for too long is too risky. To speed things up, conservationists are using what they call green-grey climate solutions to protect coastlines and their communities more quickly. In simple terms, they combine the restoration of green natural defences like mangroves with grey man-made barriers like breakwaters and sediment traps. Together with setting up marine protected areas, mangroves that were once destroyed by Typhoon Haiyan are now taking root and growing again. Mangroves like Max are true friends of everyone on the planet. And the more mangroves there are, the better. I'll be telling you more about them in the rest of the series. But in the meantime, let's all match the mangroves!